long resistance band first. Okay. So what I would like you to do is relax the shoulders down and draw the hands directly behind your head. Now from here, I want you to rotate, right? And then left. Inhale and exhale. Nice and tall. Think about the crown of your head reaching right towards the ceiling. And let's start to create a little bit of space here in the spine. A few more times, side to side, you guys. And then draw up. And what we're going to do from here is exhale and extend away from us and pull all the way in. So exhale, extend. Now up to you how much resistance you have in between that band. Take a nice big breath in and reach through the back of your body. Press through the heels and continue to extend and open up through the hamstrings. Just three more times, you guys. Inhale, exhale, two more times, reach and extend, one more. Now let's glide it down and extend it away. One, and two, continue to open, raise, and four, feel that nice length in your hamstrings, five, and your shoulders, six, without compromising your neck. Seven and eight and nine. One more time and rest. Very good. Guys. What I want you to do now is take that resistance band and place it over to your right side. Now, most of your band is going to be on the right. Okay. So, what I want you to do is I want you to, you can test the resistance to see how it feels for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to a lateral extension. We're going to come up and over. You take the band either right at your side or behind. And we're just going to add a little bit of a stretch. So keep it right into your side. Inhale and exhale. Now you have a little bit of resistance here. So hold it right by your side. Inhale and exhale. A few more times. Create that little lateral stretch there. Two more. Now, pull it right into your shoulder and push all the way across, right back in. Now, really reach all the way to that corner and pull. Inhale, exhale. Without coming any higher than your shoulder, reach and push and pull. Good, four more. And three, and two, and one. And straight up and down. So one. Now watch your shoulder. Try to do this without shrugging. What happens as we get tired is we start to lift using our neck. So think about extending and reaching. Five more. Exhale. Five and four, three and two. One more. And rest. Very good, guys. Let's just warm up that other side. Okay, so from here, you're going to hold it into your side, take it behind your back, hold it into the side, and reach and pull. Two and three. Exhale, four, right into that oblique. Five and six and seven and eight. Nine, one more time, and ten. Very good. Now we're going to come across. So from here, reach and pull. So one, and two, three. Keep your belly button pulled up nice and tight. Four, five, six, seven. Exhale, rotate eight, nine, one more, and ten. Now we're going to raise the roof. One, two, be mindful of the shoulder. Three, we're not shrugging it off. Four, very good, you guys. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Very nice. Go ahead from here and take that band back in half. And 
And we're just going to do a quick lap pull down to stretch it out, you guys. So start to draw from here to arm. Slight angle, I want you to pull all the way behind you and stretch the arms out, pull back in and reach. So open for one. Now watch your neck, you want to keep everything in neutral here. Think about pinching and squeezing the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale. Check the posture. Everything is nice and calm. Four more. And three. And two. One more time. Let's stay low and punch. One, two. Think about that squeeze in the scapula. The crown of your head reaching right to the ceiling. Five and four and three and two. One more and one. Reach all the way up again and extend it and pull through two more times. Extend. One more time so you can reach a little bit further than from the first time and then extend and reach the other way. One and two. One more time, you guys. And three. Very good. So we're going to start with our triceps first. And I'm going to come to the floor. That way it's very easy for you to see. You're welcome to stand up the whole time. All you do here is take most of that resistance band, you guys, over to your right side. You take your left hand, rotate it, and then grab onto that resistance band, and then take it directly behind you. Now you can guide this and use your opposite hand to help you. You can also adjust with how much resistance you have. So ideally we want the same amount of resistance on both sides. So you're gonna decide, this is your left arm. Generally for most people, it's a little bit weaker. So if you want to adjust it, then make sure that you can go through that full range of motion. So nice deep breath in, relax your shoulders. One, two, three, keep your belly button nice and tight, four. It always starts off easy. Six, seven, eight, nine, foot middle pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Quick little rest. Nice and easy, right? Now we're gonna go a two, two count, you guys. So relax the shoulders down. If I need to, I use the opposite hand to help me. So up for two, down for one. Two, two. Pull the belly button right into your spine, three. Top of your head right to the ceiling, four. Exhale, five, two. Relax that left shoulder, six, seven, two. Eight, two, nine, two, one more. 10, two. 10 little pulses at the top. 10, nine, eight, seven, maybe starting to feel it a little bit more. Five, four. Three, two, one, and rest. Take a second and roll the shoulder back. Very good, you guys. So exaggerate that range of motion. Now, say, for instance, you don't want to do back three, it just becomes too much for up three, then you could do the kickback move instead, or you could grab both of bands and lift. Okay, I just want to make sure you do both of, both of the same things on the other side. So take that nice deep breath in. This one we feel a little bit more, so we're gonna go up, three, down, one. If you need to, use your opposite hand. So one, two, three. Now exhale and really squeeze through that tricep. Three, two, three. Exhale for four. Five, two, three. Very good, you guys. Six, two, squeeze. Seven, two, three. And eight, two more. Nine, two, three, one more time. Keep your core nice and tight. Now pulse it. Ten, nine, push through it. Eight, seven, squeeze it. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great work, you guys. Take a moment here and open up that arm. Exaggerate it and rewind it. Triceps and in the thighs, generally one of the weak, two weakest parts of the body that we just don't use as often. Take that arm and bend it, pat yourself on the back, grab onto your elbow and just gently relax your head. And try to bring your elbow right up towards the ceiling. If you feel comfortable looking up, that's always an option. 
If you want to try to grab onto your hand with the opposite, that's an option too. And if it doesn't work, then you can use your resistance band from here to bend and then walk your hands together. Nice way to be able to open up here through both sides at the same time. Nice deep breath here, you guys. And then gently reach behind the back and roll from here to the neck, ear to shoulder and chin to chest, just creating a little bit of space along the side of that neck. Very nice, you guys. Now we're gonna to come to the other side, okay? Now we have more of our resistance band over to the left. Again, you can do the same thing from standing up. So I'm gonna go ahead from here and take that right hand, grab onto the resistance band. I wanna have the same amount of resistance, even if this arm is stronger, I'm trying to keep that strength nice and even, okay? So nice deep breath in, you guys, engage the core, relax the shoulders. Full range of motion for one, and two, three, and four. I really exhale as you push. If it helps, you can always close your eyes. Exhale seven and eight, squeeze it nine and ten. Little pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good, guys. Roll it back, roll it forward. Okay, so now two, two count. That probably felt nice and easy. So let's see if we can challenge ourselves. Two, two count. Exhale up for two and down for one, two, two. Just take a moment, pause for a second, three. Feel that strength in your tricep, four. Relax your neck for five, six, two, and seven, two. Eight, two, nine, two, one more, 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, you guys roll back. Hopefully you felt a little something that time. We rotate back forward. So we have one more time, and it's gonna be up for three, down for one. If you adjusted the band or did anything different, make sure that you repeat that same thing. So relax that shoulder down. Always use the opposite hand if you need to. Up one, two, three. Exhale for two, three, two, three. Relax that shoulder for four, five, two, three, six, two, squeeze, seven, and eight. Squeeze it up there, nine, two, three, and ten, two, three. Many pulses, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze your tricep, five, Four, squeeze, three, two, and one. Great work, you guys. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. And really try to line up that elbow with the center of that neck. Take that nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. That move is too much. Create that space in the shoulder. Increase your range of motion. Rewind it the other way. If you want to try that interlacing and your hands don't touch, just draw that band behind your head and then walk your hands together. Nice deep breath in, feel that great big stretch along the tricep. It's always about stretching and strengthening. So as we continue to build that strength, we want to create that space as well so that we have that light, nice, long lean muscle belts. Go ahead from here and release. And then draw that hand behind the back and then just gently roll the neck. Just a little ear to shoulder and chin to chest. Fantastic, you guys. Let's take a quick little stretch back here in the child's pose. So go ahead and lengthen your arms out in front of us as far as we can. Now you can always come to puppy pose where your hips are high or you can sink your hips down if that feels comfortable. Now you can think about increasing that range of motion, you guys, in your low back. So really extend and start to shift your hips from left to right. 
Look for clues of where your body holds tension. Take that nice inhale. Keep your fingers as far away from you as they are. And then curl the toes under and lift up the head and push yourself up into that downward facing dog. Now we're to the bicycle, your legs. Let's increase that range of motion. The hamstrings start to wake up those legs, you guys. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. I want you to walk your feet in one step each foot. Now my knees are slightly bent. I'm gonna take from here my left hand and grab onto my right ankle. If it doesn't work, I can grab onto that calf. And I'm gonna to try to lengthen and open. Nice big stretch here, you guys. Relax those knees, take a nice inhale, grab onto that left ankle and open. Nice inhale and a big exhale, you guys. And then from here, start to walk the hands into the feet. Just hang forward like a little rag doll here. Relax that as I can show supported forward bend. Feels best and keep your hands along your shin. I want you to add a little twist here and rotate one side and then the other. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome, you guys. One more time, side to side. And then slowly roll it up. Wonderful job. All right, so let's go ahead and do a move here for that lower part of the body. What I want you guys to do is you're going to take that resistance band in half, and you're going to place from here your right foot forward and slip your left leg back. Okay? Now, it's up to me if I want to keep this length in my leg. I don't have to bend the knee. I can work on opening up my hip flexor. I can bend here slightly. I can extend or I can drop that knee. So really, it is up to you wherever you feel best in this move. So nice deep breath in. I want you to have enough resistance so that when you come up, we can add just a little bit of a pulse, you guys, for the shoulders. So nice deep breath and one, two, and three. Four, relax here, the shoulders don't shrug. Let's squeeze. Five, press through that right heel. Seven, eight, nine. Now go with a little mini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lengthen your leg. Pull the band right into your hip and hinge forward. Now keep those hips square. Take that nice deep breath in, you guys. And then from here, grab that resistance band and step your back foot in. I want you to have enough resistance here so that when you hinge, you can lift up, okay? We're gonna feel this in the back part of the body. So inhale, exhale. So I'm just gonna hold that resistance band right at my waist. Two, and three, press through both heels. Four and five. We're bending at a complete 90 degree angle, you guys. Six, do not let your back round. Keep your core tank shoulders back. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more, stay low and pulse. One, two, three, four. Squeeze your glutes. So keep your core nice and tight. Three, two, and one, very good. Keep that same foot, loosen it up a little bit. Back to your hip distance, relax through the shoulders. Now I want you to do one round here. We're gonna drop and then lift up that knee. Optional if it doesn't work. Inhale, exhale. Two, and three, and four. Exhale, five and six, exhale, seven, three more, you guys, eight, and nine, one more now, and 10, one more time. Pull that band up tight, step your back foot in, hinge from your hip, down for two, up for one, two, two, three, two. Now think about a 90 degree angle, that you're creating here, four. Exhale, push, five. 
down two, six, and seven, and eight, two more inside, nine, now stay with it, and pulse it, one, two, three, open up the hamstrings and really squeeze the glutes, you guys, keep your belly button in, three, two, and one, very nice, you guys, take that off, drop your band for a moment, and externally rotate your hip. So create that nice big circle away from the center line and then draw in and across. Nice big breath in, you guys. Nice big breath out. One more time, both sides. Now lengthen your legs and follow the one you want. Push that energy out of your hamstrings and take a great big breath in. Rotate down in towards the right foot. Push your hip to the left. Nice inhale. Big exhale. Other side, you guys. Reach nice and long to the spine. And then back to the middle, soften the knees, hands on the knees, round the back, tuck the chin and go back up, and let's do the other side. All right. So now take that band under the left. All right, you guys, center of the band. So as we start, we are hip distance apart. We're going to lengthen. And remember, I can keep my back leg lengthened. I can tuck from here, or I can drop all the way to the front. Are you ready? Here we go. One and two, three without shrugging, four, five, pull the belly button nice and tight, six, seven, eight, nine, crown of the head to the ceiling and pulse it, you guys. One, two, three, feel that strength in the arms and the core. Dig deep now, press to the heel. And three, two, one, Step your back foot in, tighten that band up. Take a nice deep breath in, you guys. Hinge from your hip. One and two. Exhale, three. Squeeze and lift it. Four. Exhale, five and six. Exhale, seven and eight. And nine, one more now. Many pulses from the bottom. One, two, three, four, deep, deep, five, six, and seven, three more, you guys. Eight, nine, one more, and ten. Very nice. All right, so now the only thing that will change with that lateral is we're going to look at the back knee. If we feel comfortable, so shoulders back, belly button in. You're going to drop from here, lift the knee. One, two, hip distance, three, and four. Press through that front heel, five, six. Awesome work, you guys. Seven, and eight, nine, one more, and ten. We didn't do any minis there, did we? Did we do minis? No minis. So go from here. Thankfully, I have my helpers here. Deep breath in, you guys. Down for two. One, two. Squeeze it up. Two, two. Squeeze it up. Three, two. Now hinge through your hip. Four. Press through the heel for five. Six, two. And seven, two, and eight, two, nine. One more time, you guys stay low and pulse it. One, two, three, squeeze, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, two more, nine, and ten. Very nice, you guys. 
Now from here, let's open up to the hamstring. So all I want you to do is lengthen from here, keep that leg back. If you can reach the floor, great. If not, hands to your knees. I want you to lengthen your spine. Create one long line here between your heel and the top of your head. Take a great big breath in your body. If it feels comfortable, drop your back heel and shoot your front leg straight. You always adjust this by coming up and finding that stretch that works the best. So lengthen, continue to lengthen that spine. We can go between a bent knee and a straight leg. Now I'm gonna square up my hips here and reach my arms up tall. Now settle down, look up to the ceiling if it's comfortable. Interlace your hands in prayer position. I'm rotating towards my front knee. Rotating towards my front knee. Nice deep breath in. Keeping that prayer position. Nice inhale, you guys. Feel that nice length in your spine. Work on that balance. Come back to that center. Reach for the sky. And one more time, we're gonna push back to a down dog. And bicycle the legs. Inhale, exhale. And then you're going to step forward here with the other foot. Take that nice deep breath and you're sinking as low as you feel comfortable. If it doesn't work, you walk it in and you adjust the stretch. Nice inhale. Shoot the energy back. You can rotate your back heel at a slight angle. You can always go from bending to lengthening. Wherever you feel that deepest stretch, you guys. Take that nice big breath and keep by your chin coming towards your so, or towards your knee. We're going to square those hips off again. Scoop the arms up. Sink the energy down low. Nice inhale. Relax your head if it's comfortable. Prayer position. We're going to take a nice inhale. Rotate towards the front knee. And open. So nice prayer position here, you guys. Take that big breath in. We're twisting and rotating, creating some space in that spine. Draw back to the center, come back down to the floor, and then push back and come into your plank position. I want you to pull that belly button in nice and tight, you guys, and just feel the strength of the entire body. Walk your feet hip distance, push back, downward facing dog. Now pull the belly button right into the spine. Bend the knees and sink back into child's pose and create that nice long stretch here, you guys. Big inhale and a nice big exhale. All righty, so this next move if I have a hard time kneeling, then I would lie down on the ground and stretch the hip more. So, this move here, I'm going to take the resistance band in the middle. And we're going to start here, you guys, with the right foot. We're going to tuck right here, right in the middle of that right foot. Okay, so I want to kind of have enough band where I can be right in the middle. And now from here, I'm going to extend and take my palm directly underneath my shoulder. Okay, so I want to make sure that the resistance here on the top of the leg works so that I can lift it up. Now you can adjust this band slightly away from you, so it doesn't have to be. It doesn't get tangled, but keep it underneath your shoulder. Curl your back toe under for stability, okay? So first thing, pull right into your waist. Take a deep breath in, and we're going to pulse. So watch your neck. One, two, three. Think about your neck as in one line with your spine. Five, six, seven. Squeeze it up there, you guys. Eight, nine, one more. 10 quick little rest, relax with the shoulders. If you're lying on the ground, you're just doing a side raise without getting balancing on your knees. So nice deep breath, you guys, let's pulse it for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Rest it, sink back into your hip and rotate over that toe deep here. 
big breath in, you guys. Now we're going to add the arm. So from here, I'm going to loosen up the band a little bit. And I want to take it between my thumb and my first finger so I can draw the band over. So we can make sure that I can do this move because once I add the leg to it, it's got a lot of stuff happening. I want to make sure that I can execute that move. So nice deep breath in, you guys. We're going to lift up the leg, reach nice and long through the arm, pull back in, and rest. Watch your neck. Here we go. Left, and extend, resist for one. Inhale. Exhale. Now feel that strength in your core. Inhale. Exhale. Pull the belly button in tight. Inhale. Exhale. Good, you guys. Squeeze and lift. Extend. You can give your foot a break in between each one. Lift. Push in and down and lift. Push in four more. Lift, push. Three more times, you guys. Squeeze left. Push in. We have two more now. Lift, push in. Let's do it one more time. Lift, push in now. For my arm, I can keep my foot down or I can hold it up. So that's up to you. Big breath in, you guys. Here we go. One, two, three. Pump that arm. Four, pull that belly button in. Six and seven. Squeeze the hip height if you can. Eight, nine, and ten. Sink back again. Rotate if that's comfortable. Over the top here. Think about your chin coming toward your toe. You need to release your feet to do it the way to hurt yourself. If you can, curl your toe under and stretch out those toes. Awesome work, you guys. Release the resistance band. And we're going to thread the needle. So I already have my leg extended. First thing I want you to do is take your right hand down, our left hand down. And reach your right arm up. So let's think about creating a nice long line between our arms, rotating, twisting through that loop. Now I'm going to draw from here the right hand underneath and thread the needle. I can do this in a child's pose if I don't want to extend the leg. Now really reach. It's up to you if your hips stay high or if you try to sink them low. You feel like things are kind of crammed up. Keep your hips high. Create that nice deep space. Reach the arm all the way underneath you guys with your palm up. Reach and extend through the left fingertips. You can relax with the ear and the head if it works. From here, walk that hand back under. One more time. Draw that left palm and then open. See if you can open a little easier. Nice deep breath in. And that's the breath out of your hands. Wonderful job. We're going to take that knee in, open up your knees as wide as you feel comfortable, and sink your hips back. And you can just rest for a moment with your forehead on your hand, or you can extend the arms away. Just settle down, take that nice deep breath in, create that nice space here in the hip flexor. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Awesome job, you guys. We're going to walk that back in. And then we're going to take that resistance band over to the left side. Okay, so I want to make sure that my band is relatively in half. And then I'm going to look here right in the middle of that foot. I want to make sure that I have equal resistance on both sides. Okay. This is one of very helpful to make sure you have a band that is long enough, ideally as tall as you. So from here, again, from the floor, I can do my side leg lift. I don't have to lose balance on the knee if it doesn't help. So I'm curling from here, that right toe under to help me, rotating my shoulders back, pulling my belly button in from here. And we're going to lift and lower. One and two. Now squeeze three, guys, right through that glute minimus. Four, five, watch your neck, six, 
and sevens. Lead with your heel. Eight and nine. One more. Ten. And we're going to pulse it, you guys. Shoulders back. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Squeeze five, six, seven. Feel it burning. Eight, nine, and ten. Give it a rest. I rotate in towards the leg. If I don't want to pop back, I stay right here. I'm going to drop back here and create as much space as I can by bringing my chin in towards my knee. Big inhale. Big exhale. And draw that back up. Now, we're going to add the arm here, you guys. So from here, you need to make sure between the thumb and the first finger, that the arm can extend comfortably over your head. The last thing you want to do is not have enough resistance band and feel awkward and hurt yourself, okay? So nice deep breath in from here. You have enough resistance to come over. You're gonna lift, extend, in, one. Inhale, exhale, and two. Lift, extend, in, and three. Engage your abdominal muscles, reach nice and long. Remember, you can just do the arm the way you need to. Four, inhale, exhale for five. Lift, push, in, six, squeeze, push. Here we go, seven now. Inhale, exhale. This is eight, you guys. Lift, push. And nine, one more, inhale, exhale, and rest. Now for the arm, I can just pump that arm or lift up the leg you decide. One, two, three, pump it, four, and five, squeeze it, six, watch your neck, seven, and eight, so close, nine, and 10. Great job, you guys, one more time. I'm going to lengthen that leg, adjust the resistance band, and then switch back and reach that chin towards the toe. You can release your feet if it feels best. Create that nice big stretch, you guys. Remove your resistance band, and we're going to thread the needle. So now I'm set up here. Take from here the right hand, bring it down, reach for the sky. Now let's create that nice openness in the chest. Take a great big inhale. Then we're going to take the left fingers, you guys, thread the needle, and rotate complete opposite direction. Either my hips stay high or I can sink my hips low. Looking for information on is this side tighter? Are there different points of or I'm feeling tension and stress in the body. And use that as clues so that we know where we need more opening and where to create more space or more strength. Big breath in. One more time. Walk that right hand and lift for the side. Maybe a little bit easier. Big breath, relax the shoulders. And then one more time, draw the toes in. Keep those knees open if it works. Settle back down. You can take your hands if you want to. Parallel them, relax your head. If not, extend the arms. Big breath in, you guys. Take that nice deep breath in. You can also come to puppy pose with your hips high and your head low. Wonderful job, you guys. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Curl the toes. Slightly wider downward facing dog. Nice inhale from here. Create that nice big stretch, you guys, through the spine. Walk your hands into your feet. Soften the knees and sink nice and low. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Rotate here, you guys, and lengthen. So create as much space as you can by pushing the knee away. And then switch to that other side and lengthen the spine. Nice deep breath here. 
back to the center here, you guys. And one more time, lengthen that spine, but just walk those fingers maybe a few inches forward if you can. If it doesn't work, support it forward. Then. So we're going to use that small resistance band, you guys, just for a quick little set of jumping jacks, okay? Optional, you don't need to use them if jumping jacks are already a challenge enough. If you need to use a wall, you need to use a chair to prevent yourself from falling. Uh, go ahead from here. Love this first. And I know that these can be kind of tight, you guys. If you can take the resistance band, kind of like a sausage, and bring it the higher that it is, think about that strength in the quadriceps versus the ankles. If you can barely move the band and it's around your ankles, I don't want you to fall. So pluck a little bit higher if you can. So we're just going to add a little quick set of jumping jacks. Inhale and exhale. Now you can also step half if you prefer one side and then the other. Inhale, exhale. Nice big breath in, you guys. Rotate to the left. Nice and tall. Rotate again. You can always jog your legs instead. Rotate. Rotate again. Nice big breath, you guys. Now to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Rotate. Rotate. One more time. Seven, eight. And relaxing, you guys. Wonderful job. Now, take the resistance band and place it along the bottom of your feet. Now, if you need to have a chair for stability or the wall, you're going to practice lifting one knee to the other. Maybe the band doesn't move at all. So don't use the band if it doesn't work. Okay, breath in, left, switch. Two, three, left, four, left, five, and six, and seven, and eight, two more, and nine. One more time, both sides. Now we're going to keep the band where it is and hit the floor. So very carefully. Drop down to the floor. We're going to keep that resistance band, you guys, right into the feet. Relax back from here. I can roll back. Now, from here, I need to be able to push one leg and resist. So if I need to use my hand, I can. Otherwise, I'm going to take the hand by the head and push and switch. One. Exhale, two. Now pull that belly button into the spine, you guys. Three. Open up through the shoulders, four. And five. And six. Rotate, relax your leg. Seven. Relax on the one elbow, then the other. Nine. One more time. And relaxing, you guys, right here. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Imprint your low back. Pull the belly button of your spine. Press the low back down to where you cannot put your finger underneath. Now keeping that imprint. One more time, hands come behind the head. As I lift my head, my low back still continues to stay down. Now from here, as I lift my knees, check the low back. So just that left leg is going to come out and come back in. One. Too much on the knee with resistance, do it without. Four. Five. Six. Now push and resist, you guys. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Take a quick little rest. 
Check your back. Press the belly button in. Push the low back down. Elevate the head. Elevate the knees. And rotate the other side. One, two, three. Rotate through it. Four, and five, and six. Exhale, seven, and eight. Two more, nine, one more, and 10. Wonderful job, you guys. Place the feet down, lengthen the legs out, and reach your arms up and over your head. Take a nice deep breath in. We're gonna remove just our right foot. Ideally, if you can keep that band on your left, you're gonna hook it over and lengthen that leg and create as much stretch as you can. If you need to, you bend and lengthen. If you can, you're gonna draw your heel right up to the ceiling. Now the opposite leg, we're not just letting it go. We're gonna keep that nice and strong and glue the hamstring to the floor, pull the belly button in, press the low back down. Now I'm just gonna rotate my left leg to the left side. Open up the right hand and anchor. Engage the abdominal muscles. Now, ideally, I want my hips to stay open. What happens is this happens because we have tightness in the hip. It's okay. Just maybe don't drop as low so you can keep this connection with that hip down. Take a back. big breath in. Open and extend, you guys. Flex your both of your feet. Now make sure that that band is in the middle of your foot. You don't want to swing back and hit you in the face. Nice deep breath in. Now I'm gonna lengthen that leg, switch hands, same leg, switch hands, and then I'm gonna draw it across. Now maybe it only comes to here. I'm not so worried about the opposite leg this time because I wanna open up through my IT band. So I'm gonna push the energy out of my heel. I can allow my hips to rotate but lengthen that left arm and shoot the arrows out of that left heel. If that's the leg that you have extended through the IT band, you guys, if you need to bend your knee and lengthen, completely optimal. Bend that knee back in, and then just a partial happy baby pose. I'm just gonna draw that band down. And again, create nice space here, imprint the spine. And then if I feel comfortable, I will lengthen the leg back up to the ceiling and then drop to a 45 degree angle behind me. It's not a very big movement, just enough to create that nice long stretch in that hamstring. Maybe a little shake. And then from here, release. And then we're gonna switch and take that along that right leg, you guys. So again, I'm extending and lengthening both legs here. Contracting and storing off my hips. Imprinting and pressing the low back down. Make sure the band is in the middle of the foot. And then exhale and slowly drop it open. Now create as much space as you can in your inner thigh. Take that nice inhale, you guys. Lengthen and reach. Create as much space as you can in your hip flexors. If you need to, you come up higher. You adjust the stretch so that it works for you. Glue the left leg down. If that hip comes up a little bit, it's okay, but you can also consciously press it down or even use an object to help hold it. So I'm gonna draw this leg up, switch hands, anchor from here, and draw that leg all the way across through the IT band. If I need to bend my knee, and then lengthen my leg. You can also do these, you guys, with your long resistance band if you just feel like it is too short of a band to be able to extend your leg comfortably. So nice inhale, shoot the arrows and the energy out of your heels. Create that nice twist and stretch in your back. Bend the knee back in, and then that partial happy baby pose. I'm just thinking that knee down, keeping that left leg extended. If it feels comfortable to extend my leg once again, and then draw to a slight 45 degree angle. Nice deep breath in. You can always stay with um, partial happy baby pose. That feels best. Fantastic job, you guys. Release the resistance band and extend your arms up and out. 
Now we're going to reach and extend through the right fingers and the left heel. Create that nice diagonal stretch. Left fingers, right heel, big diagonal stretch. Through both you guys, lengthen and open. Wonderful work. So we're going to bend the knees. You can either roll up or you can roll over to your side in fetal position. And then we're going to take that resistance band and we're going to place it around the middle of our feet. Okay. Now I want to make sure here that I have enough room to be able to comfortably extend my legs to the side without the band breaking. So slightly wider than hip distance. Up to you how much you lean back. I want you to make an X with your band. Okay, so from here, you guys, if you need to use a pillow because it's too hard for you to roll back and forth, you can take, tuck a pillow underneath your low back. I want you to relax in your shoulders here. Now lean back as far as you can, keeping your abdominal muscles engaged and wrap your elbows around your back. So one and two, three. Now think about really squeezing your scapula. If you can't lean back, you sit up tall. Okay, so don't shrug your shoulders. Pull the belly button in tight, you guys. Five, four, three, two. Now pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest, you guys. Sit up tall. Separate the X. Take the band between your thumb and your first finger. Now, First try this from sitting up straight. So I want you to try to lift up your arms without shrugging your shoulders. You can loosen the band up a little bit if you want to, but you're gonna raise the roof and resist it back down. One, two. Now feel that strength in your core, anchoring your hips down, pulling the belly button in, reaching and lengthening through the shoulders without shrugging them, you guys. Five more. Exhale to the left. Four, three, two, rest, pulse it at the top. Big breath in, don't shrug. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest it. Interlace your hands, push it away, make a nice C curve with your spine. Pull that belly button in. Walk your feet a little bit closer, and you're going to bunch up the resistance band here to where you feel comfortable holding it right into your um, chest. And I want you to rotate from one side to the other. So one and two. Now I can sit up taller, or I can really pull my abs into it and tap one elbow and then the other. Now pull back. Pull, resist, five, and four, and three, tummy tight, and two, one more time, both sides, and back up. Now, I'm gonna keep that resistance band, you guys, right in the middle here. If I have a hard time coming back and coming back up, then I can stay down to the floor, or I can stay seated. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna lengthen my legs, and I'm going to start to inch my way down. Now I'm trying to glue my hamstrings to the floor. If I have a hard time, I will come halfway up and feel that just as high as I can. Now, ideally here, you guys are going to reach and lift like Dracula coming up. So inhale, exhale. One, inhale, exhale. Two. Now a nice flat back, you guys. Inhale. Three. Sit up as tall as you can. Now glue the hamstrings to the floor. Four. Inhale. Lengthen those legs. Five. Nice and tall. Inhale. Six. Maybe it's not working. Pull up with your arms if that helps you. Seven. Inhale. 
eight. Two more times, you guys. Glue those legs down. Roll it up if you need to. Nine. One more time. Tuck your feet underneath the couch. Lift it up and settle down. Now, separate your resistance bands. And I want you to give me a little bit here of more resistance about up to your knees. So you're going to hinge forward and just pull like a row right into your hip. Okay? You can do it from here, Steven. I want you to lean, row. Sit up tall. Lean, row. Sit up tall. Hinge, row. Nice deep breath in. If it doesn't work, you're just rowing. Inhale. Exhale. Too much on your back? Don't do it. Inhale. Sit up tall. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Loosen up your band. Just maybe a few inches. Relax your shoulders back. Now, as you hinge, I want you to add that tricep extension. Okay, so big breath in. Doesn't work. I'm going to sit up tall. I can raise the roof again. Here we go. One, up tall. Two, and three. I can focus just here, you guys, on opening up the hamstrings if that's best. Six, seven, eight. Push and squeeze. Nine. Now hold it. Nice deep breath in. Keep that forward bend. Flex the feet. Make sure it's over the middle of your feet, you guys. Glue the hamstrings down and 10 pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Wonderful job. Bend your knees back in and come back to your end. Last thing here, you guys, we're going to stretch out the leg. We're going to lie all the way back. Lengthen your legs out as far as you can. If you want to take and extend those legs out, create a little bit of space here in the inner thighs. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. So we're stretching and strengthening. Big breath in. Shoot the arrows and energy out of your heels. And create your spine. Take that leg back down. Take it a half of an inch further if you can. Nice big breath in, you guys. Flex the feet. Feel the strength of the inner thigh, that length of the hamstring and the leg. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Flex one more time. Contract the quadricep. Shoot the arrows and energy out of the hamstring. And then draw those legs back up. Roll back up to the top. From here, release that resistance fan and come back here into child's pose. So go ahead here and shrink those hips down, draw that head out, take a nice deep breath in, reach you guys your left hand and then your right hand and extend it really away from you. If it's comfortable, pin your hips down. And then come here back into that quadrant pose. So palms underneath your shoulders. Now tuck your chin into your chest. Exhale and open. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Wonderful job, you guys. From here, you can sit back on your toes if you're comfortable, or you can release your feet all together. So I want you to take a nice deep breath in. Spread your wings. Let everything go. Keep that stretch in your toes if you can. Big breath in. Draw the fingertips together and pull straight down. Relax your shoulders. Rotate your wrists in and out. Create that nice space there, you guys. Fantastic job. We have one more big breath in. We're going to think about all the things we have to be thankful for. And then draw the hands right into that heart center. Relax your hands and gently bow your head. Namaste, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and happy 4th of July.